Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at how we can take a backup of GitLab configuration using the command line utilities. Okay, So here in this video I will show you how we can use the GitLab command line uh, utilities to backup the configuration and restore it uh, in the GitLab server. Okay. So here is the documentation that I am going to follow uh, for this video. So as a first step, uh, we will be uh, looking at how we can take the manual backup of the GitLab configuration. Okay. So for this, let us start the GitLab server. Uh, so let me go into my shell. So I have a GitLab server installed in a KVM virtual machine. So let me start up my machine. So here is my git server uh, wherein I have installed the GitLab server. So let me try to log in into that server. Okay, so here is the GitLab server. Uh, let me show you the UI also so it is still uh, starting up so let us give it some time so my GitLab server is uh, started so by default there is a root user uh, with the default password that is uh, present in a configuration file uh, for 24 hours uh, that you can get and try to log in so I have already uh, reset my default password so let me try to uh, log in with my password okay so here is the GitLab uh, uh, web interface uh, which you will get to see once you have installed the GitLab server and configured it okay so let us go into uh, the shell so as I said uh, like as a first step we will look at how we can uh, take a backup of the GitLab configuration uh, using the manual step okay so uh, before that uh, let us try to understand uh, where is the GitLab configuration available so by default uh, if you are going to install the GitLab server using the uh, RPM package that is the omnibus uh, RPM package the GitLab configuration is going to be available at the following location etc GitLab okay so here is the uh, configuration that is going to be available so let me uh, uh, remove this file actually which I took the backup so we will try to see like how it is getting created uh, when we take the backup uh, using the manual step okay okay now as you can see like there are only uh, three files uh, one is for the trust certificates one is for the secrets like uh, it contains the tokens and uh, the other one is the gitlab uh, dot ruby file uh, which is uh, which is a very important uh, configuration file which contains the configuration for all the components uh, that are uh, running as a part of gitlab server okay so let us try to take a backup of the the following configuration uh, using the manual step uh, so for that we will be taking backup using the utility sudo by gitlab ctl backup etc okay so here we are taking a backup using the command line utility without passing any parameter uh, uh, for that command com uh, like uh, two okay so let us take the backup so as you can see it has taken the backup uh, of this uh, configuration under this star file and uh, it has created uh, this config underscore backup uh, folder under which it has kept that backup okay so if you go and ta take a look at etc uh, gitlab now so you'll see the config backup is created okay and under that config backup uh, you will have that tar file created but you will not have a permission because it is available only with the root user so let us try to 
uh, list out using the root uh, sudo uh, privileges so as you can see this config uh, tar file is available now okay so if you try to look at the content of that backup okay so it basically contains all the files that are available in etc GitLab. okay so that we can check using tar minus tbf gitlab so you can see like it has all the files that are available under etc gitlab so this is how we can take the manual backup that is a default backup without uh, passing any parameter basically uh, the parameter that we can pass is uh, like uh, providing the path where we want to take the backup of the configuration so in uh, so if we are not passing that parameter it is going to take the backup under the etc gitlab folder okay but one problem with this uh, default backup is uh, it is taking the backup in the same folder where the gitlab configuration is present okay so in case something goes wrong uh, with the gitlab server or the configuration folder uh, like we might lose the content or the backup that we have taken so it is always a good idea to take the backup in a different mount uh, folder or uh, altogether in a different server like uh, let's say we have an NFS server wherein we can take the backup of the GitLab configuration okay so now let us try to see like how we can take a backup into a particular folder let's say uh, like an NSF path wherein we want to store our backup path backup uh, that we have taken for the GitLab configuration so now uh, what I'm doing is uh, I'm doing sudo gitlab cdl backup etc that is the etc uh, configuration uh, into the path uh, uh, that is my home directory under which I have created the gitlab uh, the gitlab underscore backup folder will be created okay so let us try to take the backup in this particular folder so as you can see like this taking the backup under that particular folder so if you try to do ls of that you will have that file uh, that backup file available uh, the uh, same as the backup that we have taken in the default location okay so now that we have uh, a basic understanding of how we can take the backup using the uh, default uh, uh, con uh, default uh, command line command and uh, backup uh, using the parameter that is added uh, passing the parameter where we want to take the backup okay so now that we have the backup let us try to see how we can uh, take uh, restore the backup uh, of the GitLab configuration okay so before restoring the backup we will need to move this etc GitLab folder uh, or we, we need to take a backup of this uh, when identifying it has a bad configuration okay so there are possibilities that uh, the configuration that you have carried out in the GitLab server uh, is misconfigured or is the files have got corrupted and you want to uh, move that uh, configuration and restore the good backup that we have taken uh, uh, previously okay so for that so first we need to uh, move this gitlab folder to let's say bad config okay uh, with some particular date okay so so that it will be easy for you to identify uh, when uh, you have uh, taken the bad back uh, bad config backup okay so this way like we, we can identify like uh, the configuration uh, like when it was uh, like restored okay so we have taken the bad config backup so now uh, what we need to do is we need to restore the backup that we have taken in the home and uh, home directory okay so let me like do ls minus ltr home git admin git backup uh, okay so let me do it with sudo so this is the latest backup that we have so that we can try to restore so we'll do tar minus xvf home git admin git labs backup and the latest backup that we have and we will uh, restore it into the 
the following root directory so it will create that structure etc gitlab and copy all the files that are available in the tar file okay so i need to run this using the sudo privileges so now we have our uh, gitlab folder restored uh, from the tar file okay so let us try to do ls match ltr and you can see the gitlab folder is now available uh, uh, with all the files that we have backed up okay so once that uh, restore is done we need to reconfigure the server using gitlab uh, cd uh, we need to reconfigure using gitlab ctl reconfigure so this is the command that we need to run once we have restored the files okay so let me clear my screen and try to run the sudo gitlab ctl reconfigure okay so as you can see the gitlab is reconfigured and now you are ready to uh, use your gitlab server uh, as usual okay so this is how like you can take the backup uh, of the gitlab server configuration files and restore it and try to reconfigure your server and uh, get it to a state uh, where it was working previously okay so now that we have uh, seen like how we can take the backup manually so let us see how we can configure uh, this backup uh, to be taken on a regular basis on that server okay so for that we will need to schedule a cron job so let me uh, go uh, uh, let me uh, switch as a root user okay and try to list the cron jobs that are available okay so as you can see there is one cron job that i have already set so it basically runs the same command gitlab ctl backup etc and takes the backup into the following home git admin uh, path but it is scheduled to run at 00, 00 hours 40 minutes so it basically uh, takes the backup uh, every day every day on uh, 00, 00 40 hours okay so this is how like you can schedule your configuration backup to be taken on a daily basis so that uh, whenever you see uh, uh, there is a problem with your uh, configuration uh, you can restore uh, the gitlab server with the latest uh, available backup that was taken uh, uh, on this server okay so this is how you can schedule your uh, cron job so that the backups are uh, available on a daily basis uh, for you to restore okay so uh, this is all uh, i wanted to show you uh, in this video uh, this uh, this whole documentation uh, is also available in my uh, get, uh, in my blog so you can uh, refer to that blog also uh, for the uh, for this content so i will be sharing that uh, content in my youtube uh, description uh, uh, like the link to that content uh, I'll be sharing in the YouTube description uh, description for your reference okay so I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day